Hello everybody, T today on the table we've got this power supply, it is for specific purposes, for mining, not everyone has these types of power supply, but these are where bitcoins coming from, kind of. So. Today we will try to save it. The guy who brought it to me said there is no life. I also connected it to my isolating transformers through the light bulb and when I turned it on there was not even blinking of the lamp so it usually means that the fuse has blown and no energy going to the capacitors, the main, the bulk capacitors. Obviously that power supply was open before, as we can see, there is only two screws. Let's open it ourselves and see what's inside. It's waiting for us. It's pretty dirty. Oh, I can see at least one problem. This is a thermistor, and it is partially damaged. But of course, this is not the original problem. Thermistor was damaged due to some high energy passing through it some impulse of high current so probably that's why it died let's confirm that the fuse has blown no focusing as always inside the fuse and it is it is opened yeah definitely it is opened that was expected so probably something blown usually here we see the PFC coil so it means that on this radiator, radiator we have PFC transistors and on this radiator probably we've got main LLC transistors which are pushing this one, this transformer and after that we've got some rectification, synchronous and the power going out. So now I'm gonna... Oh, by the way, it is already open. So, well, only one screw is here. So let's do it together then. Not wasting too much time. Somebody definitely was inside and... Here is one more. And now we... Oh, you see? See this? And see those? Big mosquitoes. Not sure that these are to blame, but here is one here. Actually, I've seen several times when insects were the reason of dying a device. Because here we have about 300, quite a lot of voltage here, and when an insect 
touches this one and maybe this one of those pin it can pass through itself 400 volts I've seen this but maybe not the case is here but let's see on the diode bridge let's go to the diode mode like this you see it no beeping just like this on the outside pins we have DC and obviously it doesn't have to be zero and actually it's not it's not actually why probably what is this there is looks like the leg here is melted or something that's weird I was expecting to have a shirt here what about here here is the diode died died okay there is a shirt yeah there is a shirt at least one died you see one died so, yeah. you don't see it pretty good but from the third one yeah here you see that's the shirt so at least the dead bridges are bad let's see here here it's fine this one is fine we should always check the transistors so these are fine what about those this one is fine Fine, fine, and fine. Maybe we just need to replace two of those bridges and see. Okay, now I'm gonna remove it and we check them together. The diode bridges are removed. You saw in the picture some discoloration and even its legs are melted. So let's check those. One diode is good, the second diode is good. We have four diodes in here. This diode is good, the third one, and the fourth is bad.
let's check the same here one is good the other is good this one is good and this one is shorted sorry here I have a new one two actually and as we saw here we have shirt and if we check here this is that okay now I'm gonna put those two here and we'll see whether it's fix whether it's gonna fix our problem I hope so I soldered back the dead bridges obviously I removed the thermistor and the fuse so far nothing is here that's an old fuse 15 amps and that's the old thermistor 5d20 here I have new fuses it's not ceramic but the point is the same 15 I'm gonna put a shrinking tube and that would protect it the same and this is a new 5d20 and put it here and then we will test whether we succeeded or not okay I put everything back together the fuse the trimester now it is connected to the mains let's see it's gonna blow sometimes it is blow let's see and it's not blowing 12 volts 12 volts that's good now I'm gonna put the cover back and we will try to test it with some real load okay here is the mess for testing testing it here is 500 load by default it contains 230 watts but I can add 300 more but I'm not gonna do this because here I have one kilowatt load so in total this one plus 230 would give me one uh, 1200 watts I'm not gonna load it more because my circuit breaker only 6 amps for the whole lab so probably even when I connect it it can break it can trip but I hope we will be able to to check it together so here I have multimeter let's test it okay well folks we can see it okay now oh, we saw some wattage by the way this is not a cheap eBay watt meter this is for fiscal metering you can find it in houses this is really precise so that should be precise okay by default 200 plus 1 kilo let's check here we see 240 and are we gonna break and 1 and 200 So it is working. We save save this ant or ants. And this is it for today. I hope you like it. If you like it, give it thumb up and see you next time. Goodbye. Have a good day.